most of the time, when I pick up a harmonica and I'm not playing to other backing music, I improvise a mix of chord rhythm playing and lead playing, and I combine them to accompany myself. Once you get the concept, it's ridiculously easy to do and super versatile. So I'm gonna teach you how to do it today in this video. Here's the kind of music we are going to learn how to play. Check it out. Jonah Fox here, let's dig into this, okay? To make this work, you need to have two basic skills. First, you need to be able to play a simple blues shuffle on harmonica, something like this. And then you need to smush that together with some easy blues licks like this. When you combine them, you get something like this. Let's start with the shuffle. I'm on a C harp at the moment. We start with an inversion of a G chord. One, two, and three draw. Okay, so inhale on those three holes. That's your G chord. Then we play a C chord on the same holes, but we're gonna blow this time, and then we're gonna play it twice. Now we're going to kind of have that in a blues pattern, and then we're going to play the G chord again. Now, I do want to note that I'm doing something specific when I hit the C chord. I'm accenting the first note. And you can replicate that by saying T while you're playing. So you're articulating the sound T as you blow. And for the next chord, you would say something like D. T, D. T, D. And I use do for the G chords. Do so it's like you're saying T D do do T D do do T D do do T D do do Kind of silly, but it works. So start off by just looping that over and over. You need to get a flow of it down before you can start messing with it. And this goes for other rhythmic patterns that we can learn, which I'll talk about a little bit later in the lesson. And then you try to add a lick. Now for this example, I wanna keep things as simple as possible. So we're going to play three draw and two draw like that. And then two blow and three blow. So the whole pattern would be So you're gonna to wanna to spend some time looping this phrase before moving on. And then the moment of truth. So we're gonna play the chords, but I want you to take a break where the notes would come in. So we're gonna take that pattern and we're gonna put a little bit of a gap in it. Okay, it may help to sing or hum the notes to kind of get them in your head because it's really hard to do the two things at once when you're first trying, but once you kind of get the underlying concept, it's gonna make a lot of sense. It's like, I'm a guitar player, it's like singing and playing guitar at the same time. You could do it, but you gotta learn the individual parts first and carving some space for the other parts before you actually play them is a good way to do that. So, we can do the chords. Da -na. Da -na, da -na, da -na, da -na, da -na. So, and we can do the opposite with the lick. So we can go Once you've gotten the hang of that, you can try putting them together. So let's keep this going. You got the basic pattern down, now what? Well, for one, you can keep adding riffs and licks to the pattern and develop your ideas while using the chords to 
tie it all together. So we're just expanding the lead part of this combination of rhythm and lead playing. Now I'm gonna switch now to an A harmonica. <laughs> because the chords just sound a lot better on it, but I wanted to teach in C. So I'm in A, and I'm gonna start with the initial pattern that we have. But from here, I'm going to just expand it and add more licks into this. So I would get something like this. You may have noticed that as I was playing, I sometimes just skip the progression entirely. And as long as you can come back to the chords and the rolling rhythm, you can get away with a lot. Another thing you can try is just changing the feel of the rhythm entirely. Essentially, you find a new pattern, you jam on it for a little bit, and then you try to add some licks on top of that. Let me show you what I mean. Here we go. A one, two, three, four. <laughs> gonna add some licks now. So when you do this, you can do something that I added in that last jam is you can take some single notes that you would normally play and you can widen them a little bit. So you play them as a two note chord, what we would call a double stop. Okay, things like that. So when you're playing, You can take individual notes of the melody and you can turn them into chords so you can kind of thicken up some of the stuff that you're playing and blend it in with the shuffle pattern that you're playing. Yet another thing you can do is you can change the tuning of your harmonica. I'm playing on a A natural minor harmonica. It's actually playing an E minor because you get different chords. Here's the draw chord. Here's the blow chord. And then you get some other ones you can play with as well. Here we go, check it out. Gonna add some licks now. I could keep doing these all day. So here's another one you can try. You can extend this pattern to a 12 bar blues. So when you move to the four chord or the five chord, you're gonna play those chords instead of what your shuffle would be. It takes a little bit of tracking it in your head to make it work, but I think you could figure it out. So take a listen. <laughs> Go try making some of these jams up on your own. If you want to learn a full jam like this, well, you can click this video up here. That's it for today. Peace.